Hi everybody, this is Dean from Dean's Beans Organic Coffee, and I'm so excited to be here today in the kitchen of the organic gourmet Leslie Carrier, or as her French fans know her, Leslie Carrier. <laughs> so we're here today because Leslie's going to be cooking some great espresso cookies, and she's going to be using some Dean's Beans ingredients. So not only are these vegan and gluten-free, but they've got really cool organic fair trade Dean's Beans products in them. So let's rock. Come on, Leslie, let's make some cookies. Oh, totally. And I'm super excited because I love chocolate and cocoa. So this is an easy doing? recipe. Um, everything gets added into the bowl. I'm going to make these gluten-free with some teff flour. I thought that would add to the exoticness of all the fair trade organic coffee and cocoa. And teff flour, as we know, teff is a grain that grows in Ethiopia. It's the primary uh, ingredient in cooking injira, the plate, fork, napkin, food mm -hmm. that, that uh, underlies every meal in Ethiopia. So just in case folks don't know what teff is. So we've got a cup of teff flour, then we're going to take a half a teaspoon of sea salt. And then we've got a quarter of a cup of this amazing cocoa from Peru. The story of this cocoa is this is the first cocoa that Pangoa Cooperative, who we work with in coffee, has ever created, and now we're importing it. So we're the only people who have this cocoa, and it's mind-blowingly good baking cocoa. It absolutely is. <laughs> then we're going to take this wonderful coffee that I've ground from Timor, and... It smells amazing. Ah, so we could call these mocha cookies or espresso cookies. And right. this is fine ground. This is extra virgin coconut oil, a third of a cup that I melted. And then a half a cup of New England. So this is kind of fusion cooking New England organic grade B dark maple syrup. Ooh. And then this gets stirred together and it will become our cookie batter. My grandma Ethel would be proud because it's something that would we'll just mix up with our hands eventually. Another variation of this could be with some beautiful cinnamon in here. But instead we're going to put the UFOs on top. Yep. So. UFOs, by the way, are these, uh, these coverture, they're sort of like Hershey's Kisses that somebody sat on. And they, um, they're dark chocolate and organic fair trade, of course. Um, about 68% dark chocolate, and um, we call them UFOs because they are unbelievably flavorful objects. Serve many purposes. <laughs> Carry on. And or, I, I like on. baking with them too because they are much bigger than a chocolate chip, so when the cookies are warm out of the oven, you've got this gooey chocolate chip on the top. Mm. Um, okay, so the batter can be a little moist, and it'll still work. Very forgiving recipe. And you can make them big or you can make them into walnut size balls. And you can just kind of, as my grandma Ethel would say, you can just kind of potchka it around. How about you put the cookies on the sheets mm -hmm. and I put the UFOs on there top of the go. cookies. Sounds good. So I'll feel like I've earned my cookie. Totally. But I have found when I make these cookies really small and that the UFO covers it, that's even better. But I think these dunked in the Timor hot coffee would be absolutely wonderful. Well, let's get these in the oven. Okay. Will you open the door for me? I'll open the door. All right. Okay. 10 minutes, Leslie, All right, let's, let's do it. Okay. Whoa, oh boy. Oh boy. Don't touch the tray, it's hot, right? Yeah, don't touch the tray, it's hot. And the thing with teff flour... Teff flour, mm -hmm. ...is that when it loses its sheen, its shininess, that means it's done. Right, because when it went in, they were very, very shiny. Right. So, so when they're done, the sheen disappears. Now they're ready to eat. Right. The only thing is fresh out of the oven with teff flour, if you touch them, they'll kind of fall apart a little bit. So you need to wait just two minutes or so. So why don't we dig in? And if I may, yeah. Please, please. Okay, they're they're not they're not hot. Thank cool. you. I'll take one myself. Mm. Ooh, I can't wait. Wow. Ah, uh, yum. Mm. So let's celebrate your cooking with Teff. You're cooking with our great organic fair trade ingredients, and here's to you, 
Leslie, the organic gourmet. <laughs> and Dean for all the great ingredients. Mm. Mm. Ah, mm. Mm. Oh. Mm. We work directly with the farmers in Timor in a small village called Atsabe, about 60 farm families, including the family of Brismo Gomes, who grows our coffee. We get the entire output of the village so that we know every year that we're getting the exact same coffee, not some blend of coffees from all over the island like other people who get the coffee have. Nope, ours is right from the source. It's a direct relationship. And in return, we built schools there. We have a solar powered computer training program for young kids, which is lots of fun, and a number of other development projects as suggested by the people of Atsabe. Let's have it with some coffee. <laughs> Let's make some coffee right now. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>